Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Oh, we're already taking fire over here. Uh, we're protecting a an American base here, and it's being attacked from uh, multiple directions. Looks like this attack is coming from, I believe, the north. Uh, so we're going to provide cover here. There should be some Apaches who should show up, uh, try to help us out at some point, hopefully. Um, but for now, we got to hold the line. The base is going to try to help us out as best they can, you know, but it's going to really come down to the A-10. Because uh, there's a whole bunch of armor, and the base has little to no armor. They just got some Humvees and like a couple strikers or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to put the box over them. As you watch this video, keep in mind if you want to pick up the A10, you can use the GS code. That's uh, GS A10C. That'll get you 10% off on the A10. Got this guy on the T-Pod. Looks like a BTR of some kind. A uh, BTR 80, maybe. Gonna pull up the maps here. And see if we can take out a couple of them in one run. I think they had a tank down there too. I'm not quite sure. Possible T-55. Um, I messed up the uh, the teapot here. I lost my target. And it is difficult for me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, coming from the F-15, uh, a lot of the controls that you know I learned over there, I keep trying to press here on the A-10. So I think it's important for me to switch between the two uh, in order to you know be confident in both there we go got this guy and there we go that's him got him on a point track on that guy and then we're gonna slave the maverick seeker head and it's looking right at him rifle let's give him one more let's manually put the there we go rifle again There it looks like there's still a tank down there. Uh, possible T-55 it looks like. Uh, so he shouldn't be much of a match for my gun. So I'm going to go and uh, come around for a gun run on this guy. Let's see if it actually is a T-55. Yeah. He just watched like three pieces of armor. There was a BMP-2 beside him as well. But I think the base knocked that out. Alright, let's go around. Line him up for the gun run. Here we go, this is the last piece of armor from this side, from the north direction. He's shooting at the base too. Let's line him up here. A uh, nice little side angle too, so you know we can penetrate his armor. Hold this 30 mil for me, my dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance, man. <laughs> he just melted under that 30 millimeter. It's a hell of a way to die. <laughs> Look at that, the base is shooting at something. It's a uh, MI-8, uh, MI-24, it's a hind I think actually, MI-24. Uh, let's pull up the air-to-air -air master mode, point the nose and kill that thing. The base is absolutely lighting him up. Um, and he needs to die quickly because that thing can do some serious damage to the base. And they're, they're lighting him up trying to get him to not engage them currently. Fox 2? Let me give him a second one here. Fox 2 again, I fired it, didn't need to, that thing got hit. Splash 1, MI-24. A-10 makes quick work of the hind. I'm so glad that I put in the time to learn the A-10 because it, it is really a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, looks like the base is... oh, there's tracers. I was gonna say, it looks like they're clear. I see them. Uh, west side of the base uh, looks like some sort of armor. Possible T-72. 
possible T-55s. Some sort of tanks. Let's slave over there with the teapot and have a look and see what we got. We're currently masked by our own wing. There we go. Alright, look at that. Three tanks. Okay, we'll hit them with Mavericks. So just like last time, I'm going to manually slew the uh, Maverick Seeker onto the targets. That's a nice way to just get, you know, Mavericks off back to back. I'm going to try to get two off here. Oh, they're all the way over here. There we go. That circle on the HUD is where the uh, Mavericks are looking. There we go. Got one rifle. One away. And here's the second guy. We got him. Rifle again. Okay, they're both going to die. Oh, it looks like there's a third guy that I missed. Yeah, I see him. He's out in front. Okay, two of those guys just died. That's good. That one guy still left. Alright, he's going to push up to the base. It looks like we're going to have to come back around. That Actually, I think that's a T-72. Um, I think all three of those guys were T-72s. Which are much more resistant to the 30mm. Unless you can come in from, like a, from behind them. Okay, let's do a gun run and just try to scare this guy. Because he is kind of pushing. He's pushing right up to the base there. So I'd like to do a quick gun run on him and make him think twice about that. Maybe we can knock out his tracks, make him stationary here. Good hits there, and we'll break right. Avoid that incoming fire. Unfortunately, my gun run did little to nothing to that T-72. I couldn't do a long one either because he was, you know, he was shooting back. I'm uh, going to use a Maverick here and just take him out because he's rolling right up onto the base. Okay, rifle. That's that. He's going to die for sure. He's right at the outer perimeter of the base. And Shaq. Pull up, pull up. Got him just in time. <laughs> Mavericks are extremely useful against armor like that. Pull up, pull up. Quick little flyover of the base to let all the friendlies know that we got their back. <laughs> Very good, look at all that. They are doing a good job of holding their own, to be honest. They're suppressing the enemy pretty well. And uh, that's good because we can then come around and kill the enemy. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, a very accurate AAA fire from over there, that industrial section of the base. Look at that, whoa. Okay, there's some sort of like AAA over there. And artillery, I think, hitting. Yeah, you can see two artillery units. Look at that. It's a ZSU. Yeah, that thing is shooting at me, man. Those things will kill an A-10. Like, they, they can rip A-10s to pieces. I'm going to try to take a gunshot at him <laughs> from a distance. I know this sounds like a bad idea, and it is. It is not a good idea. But I'm going to try to spray and pray with the gun. Look at this. From so far away, like outside of range for sure. But I think it'll be funny if just one of those 30 millimeters hits him. Oh, I think I actually hit him with the 30 millimeter there. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> it didn't kill him, but he got hit. He just sprayed that entire area. All right, I think we're gonna have to drop a GBU on this guy. It's too hard to kill him with gun. It's also unsafe. Look at that. He did not appreciate getting hit by that 30 mil. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with a laser JDAM uh, in case he moves. Okay, that's uh, one away. All right, lasing him all the way in. He is shooting back. So I'm just trying to fly slightly evasively, but 
not so much so I can continue to laze him as the bomb comes in. That bomb should be hitting him any second now. Uh, got him. Nice. All right. Took my eye off him at the, at the last second there. Okay, he is dead, so that's good. The AAA is gone. Now let's uh, see what else was down there. It was like those uh, rockets strapped onto a back of a Toyota. Yeah, look at those. Look at that, yeah. Okay, uh, just a technical, so let's do a gun run on these guys. Just a quick 30 millimeter burst on you, oh, and you get some 30 millimeter. Everyone's dead. Looking good. All right, and we'll drop some uh, flares over their bodies as we go from maximum disrespect. <laughs> Man, the A-10 out here just putting in work. Like, killing so much stuff out here. <laughs> you can see exactly how capable the A-10 can be in this kind of environment where, you know, you get air superiority for it and you just let it do its work. The thing is an animal, man. Okay, looks like we got one really big push from the enemy coming from the north. A whole bunch of armor. And I think I can hear... I think the Apaches are here somewhere. I'm trying to hit those armor positions. Yeah, something's hitting those guys, and I'm pretty sure it's the Apaches. Uh, here we go, we got a T-55 uh, here. Let me get a point track on this guy. Alright, um, let's trap a laser JDAM on him, GBU-54. Just because he is a moving target. Uh, we're going to do a CCRP, Continuously Computed Release Point Drop on this guy, and Pickle. Those Apaches better not kill that tank before I kill it. I don't want to waste a laser JTAM on a dead target. Lazing all the way in. And we will... Let me zoom out a little bit, there we go. And Shaq. <laughs> oh, that was definitely my kill. <laughs> okay, uh, another Toyota Technical down here. All the armor's gone. It's just these light, light skin armor. Oh, never mind. There was another guy there, but he's also gone. Uh, Toyota right here. Let's do a gun run. And one dead. And they're shooting at me. We'll break left. Two more down there. We'll come back around for these guys. Last two guys here. And that's it. I think this is all the enemy's got to offer. Let's line these guys up. Pull up pull Just up. dumping 30 millimeter on these guys. Quick little burst here. And splash. Okay, that's two. Or Shaq, I should say. Absolutely wrecked those guys. They didn't even get close to the base. The base didn't even have to shoot at these guys. They were already dead. Apaches and A-10 just shredded them. Well, the base took a couple of hits from those T-72s, but for the most part, they look pretty good. I don't see too much damage down there, and it uh, looks like no friendly vehicles were hit either. Mm -hmm. 